Well, hello, how are you? <laughs> Basically, what I've been doing, I've been making some tracks, uh, but, but in a different way. I know, first I started off with electronic and just making beats and then I went on to a bit of vocals and then I went on to songs and then onto acoustic guitar and then guitar with electronics now I'm going back to electronics but I'm changing my vocals to I'm changing my vocals to uh, uh, in Urdu so I've cut some samples. Oh, where's my remote gone? Where is that remote? It should be here somewhere because it went, went really loud for some reason when I, when I was recording sounds. Here's my sound. It's good. Cut some samples. Not many, just six samples. And we can just blend things in like a bit, a bit like DJing. I cut, I cut this. That one, that's Nano, but I like this one, tell you the truth, I like this one. Pretty long, a bit of a stream, so and you can just fit things around it. So it's looping, but it's just looping at its own pace, it evolves all the time. And I've got it on, um, and if you know how to use it, I've had it for a few years now. It's an iPhone app, and you never really took off on an iPad, but it's an amazing app, a really professional drum machine app. But it's hard to control it, like most of the apps, it's hard to control it and to do what you want it to do. Yeah, but it's very creative in that it can do a lot of uh, unique sounds without with very little uh, knowledge about music or anything like that. So that's one of the samples I've got. And I've got another one. This is a gyro synth. This is another iPhone. Basically, what we can do, we can either cut the vocals as well at the same time, or cut the vocals at the end and uh, see how they fit. Uh, but you know, recording vocals into the uh, iPod was once so okay, it was really good, and uh, because it gave you less noise in the background. But they've increased the output now on the iOS 6, and uh, it's just like gives a bit of space in the background now, and it's not very good quality. It was very good, it was very, it was really nice, up to about end of uh, the acoustic music I did and uh, was, uh, I did about six albums of acoustic music, 12 songs on each one, and not tw about 11 songs on each one, and uh, uh, so 12, sometimes 12, 14 sometimes, you know, so anyway, now um, I'm on my 15th I think. No, I'm on my 19th album, so this is my 19th album, possibly my last one, and that's it, I'm not going to do anything more after that, and, um, so basically, this is my 19th album, and uh, I've got I've got this mastering suite as well, mastering audio, and uh, I might remaster my 
previous albums. They're available on Smith.com. Uh, I fancy your price. Uh, the remastered stuff is, and, and the earlier stuff, which is not remastered, is available uh, uh, for FB Lite. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, I'm very underground at the moment, but uh, I'm not even. I'm not even. Uh, but who knows? I'm not underground. I'm not even underground. You know, it's uh, hardly noticed. Hardly noticed. You know, I'm not hardly noticed by any anyone. anyone uh, I don't know why. Anyway, let's start this track. So anyway, um, get rid of the metronome because if you start sticking the background, it's gonna be very possible people will realise it's not on beat and things like that, or possibly think it's off putting. So let's press record and see what what we should start with. We should start with nano, or should we start with gyro? So I want to start with the loudest noise I can possibly think of, not this, not the quietest or the. I want to start with the loudest. So what should we start with? I think we'll start with this. That sounds good. Too. What about this one?
beautiful. That's done one minute, four, four minutes thirty eight on my on this clock, but it'll work out a bit less for a bit a bit more once it gets rendered. I better save it, you know, in case something happens to it. What we're calling this? This is called Mar Yamadit. Yamar Yamadit. Yamar. Mar. Mar. Ya. Mad, 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 the devil has control over them while they while they dumb and don't know how to speak. And uh, whereas if if the devil was put to sleep, because devils and heroin go together, just as angels and cocaine go together, to be winners is about a test of strength, and it's about cocaine. When it's a question of pain, when you when you when you're already destined for hell, and it's a question of pain, and then you, you you're a hater, and you want everyone to go to hell with you. So it's about heroin, and uh, whereas, whereas if you're a submitter, which is a human, and you just think, well, I was, it's nothing to do with me, and uh, you're a submitter, and you just think, well, and you're, you're it's, a, it's a competition of despair then, and it's about whether I, you know whether I want to go to hell, whether you like to, whether you you're afraid to go to hell, and that's that's the thing with humans. Humans are afraid to go to hell, and uh, so. So with them, it's a, it's a competition to spare, so it's marijuana and and the green stuff, you know. Well, not green, so black. <laughs> this is cocaine is white, you know, marijuana is black. You know, like hashish. <laughs> I chose the black when I was a teen, not, not, not cocaine or heroin.